Hello friends, welcome to Learning Hub. Today we are going to install Ansible AWX using a Bash script. The script is available at Super Learning Hub GitHub repo. I will also put the uh, script URL in video description. Before we review the script, let's quickly review the Ansible AWX project on GitHub and the install guidelines. Before you begin, make sure you have met the system requirements. Now let's quickly review the script. So in the script, we need to first make sure that SE Linux is set to permissive or disabled. Then we are creating folder structure. Then we are installing Docker, moving the Docker library to a bigger volume for later use. Um, starting Docker, enabling it, installing other modules. And then we are cloning the AWX project from GitHub. I'm also installing Portainer, which is optional. I use Portainer to manage my Docker containers. And then finally, once all the prerequisites have been installed, I'm printing uh, the important parameters in the uh, inventory file, Ansible inventory file. And then at the end, we will run the Ansible playbook. So let's start the installation. I have already copied the script. Now this script will take at least five to seven minutes. So I will pause the video and we'll continue from here. Script installation is complete. At this time we have all the prerequisites as well as the script has installed the Docker container for Portainer. So if we can check the available containers, we have Portainer up and running. Let's review the other, ta other things. It has uh, printed all the required parameters that we you may have to change depending on your requirement. Like these are the admin credentials for AWX console, uh, Postgres password, and the directory for Postgres data, and Docker Compose directory. So I'm going to change this two value in the inventory file. going to change docker compose directory and this is going to be app this data and to save the file and we are ready to run the Ansible playbook This is going to install all five Docker containers for AWX while this is running. Let's quickly go and check Portainer. I'm going to set the password as password. Set. Okay, so I'm not able to find any running containers. I may have to restart Portainer. Okay, 
so we are going to choose local connect and there it is we have one kind fire which is portainer itself let's review our ansible build progress it is still going so this will take few minutes so i'm going to pause the video once the script installation is complete it is going to take at least three four minutes for awx console to come up and then it will take some more time to complete the migration so i'm going to pause the video now we will continue after this okay so ansible build is complete now and i have waited at least three four minutes uh, after the co script completion so let's go and check the awx url Okay, we are getting an error let's quickly go and restart the container so as you can see we can uh, put the containers here in portainer so i'm going to stop them and then i'm going to start them again Portainer allows us to check logs. We can inspect any running container. We can check the states and we can actually go inside the container image as root. This is very handy. You can actually inspect how the uh, container image was built. I'm going back to the AWX URL. Still coming up so I'm going to wait a few minutes here and then I will try okay so container restart is complete now and as you can see AWX is upgrading we'll wait a few more minutes and come back the upgrade is complete we are able to log in now with the default credentials that's it. I hope you enjoyed this.